All right, I want to talk about um, the uh, the days as the vehicle, all right, for launching entities on the metaverse. So in the metaverse, there are no corporations, right? All the corporations are ultimately, you know, that's a, that's a, this world, right? In the metaverse, um, the DAOs are going to rule. Well, a day is a kernel of a DAO, and it basically takes away all the nonsense in the sense of the government structured all that. All that develops as the community develops. So think of a DAO, a day uh, is the foundation of a DAO. A DAO levels up, and I want you to think of an onion. So the center of a DAO is a day, and then as the um, government structures are developed, the community can pick and choose which one they want to engulf the day. All the day does is it, it it's basically a Bitcoin standard protocol. It converts everything flowing into the day, like a Pac-Man munching away at it, and stores it as Bitcoin, that then it backs the native token that it releases back as a reward structure for the community. So for example, imagine if Facebook was a day, right? Each group could decide, you know, each group within Facebook would be, a, you know, would, would define the, um, the requirements of their group, right? What what layers of the onion would be on it. And everything that flows through Facebook would be converted into Bitcoin, stored in the day for eternity. It never releases the Bitcoin, never gives it out, right? Um, and instead, it, it issues out a native back token that, uh, you know, that uh, is rewarded to the individuals. And uh, think of that is uh, in the same way as the um, is Fort Knox, right? You can't take you couldn't take your dollar to Fort Knox and say, "Give me a dollar with the gold." Now, originally it was it was structured that way, but then it didn't. And you know, and the reason for that because the value of gold is going up, and uh, it's backing the currency that's there, and they didn't want people making a rush on you know on the uh, currency on the gold and then basically ending the currency. Um, the gold is the framework, same as the Bitcoin, that keeps the system moving. Now, something I haven't talked about, but I'm gonna talk about for the first time, and it's something that I, back in uh, 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 2019, I reached out to a developer on, um, and talking about tokens that disintegrate, tokens that lose their value. So imagine that you can hold a token for just five years. After that, you have to spend it or it starts to lose value. And the token flows back into the day. So, you know, so that, so the redistribution is like you use it or lose it framework. Now, one way to do this is actually through NFT. So NFT days. So NFT, if the tokens of the day are an NFT, you can code out when you get the when you get that um, that when you get that NFT day, when it loses value, right? When it starts to lose value, and um, and eventually, well, imagine this: that all tokens, right, will lose value um, at an um, so that we have a moneyless society. So how do we how do we take money out of the system? First, you have to create the Bitcoin standard. Then you have to layer on a token that isn't infinite, right? And that ultimately will lose its value um, over time or disintegrate. And then you remove that that you know that form out of it. And you say, well, how would society work? Well, once days are created, right? you have an ag day, an agricultural day. And the agricultural day could be a little co-op. Think of a global cooperative. Starts as a small, small little cooperative. 
and it starts gobbling up all the other cooperatives and it becomes this big it becomes what uh, Japan agriculture is now so Japan agriculture ultimately becomes a day and um, what the day does is for example all the farmers that ever you know contributed land to the day um, get a residual income through a UBI for, for forever as the value of Bitcoin goes up in value because the scarcity of the day creates scarcity in the Bitcoin because the Bitcoin standard, it's issuing out this, this UBI dividend constantly. So, um, you know, so they get their food for free. They get this dividend that's paid out. Um, the same applies. Now, this is when there is value, right? I haven't moved to moneyless society, but in the sense that um, the same can be applied to what I call the, you know, the... Um, the uh, herbicide uh, um, DIY, do-it-yourself DIY um, uh, harvester pickers, right? They pick the harvest, they plant the harvest. There's no, there's a zero marginal cost to the production of food for the first time in human history. Zero marginal cost because you have these, um, you know, spider robots that live, basically live around the tumble. They get up. They walk around the tumble and they pick out the weeds at night and then they're sitting, you'll see them all sitting around the tumble, just sitting there, relaxing during the day, getting the sun, powering up their batteries. And then at night, when everyone's sleeping, they're using ultra, bed, uh, ultra light, uh, infrared light. They can see the different coloration of the leaf and go, oh, that's not rice. And picks, it just reach out and picks out, reach out and picks out, right? And it just drops it on the ground, just picks it out, pulls it and drops it on the ground. Same thing for the spiders. They no, notice uh, an insect. <laughs> they notice something growing like a fungus or something because again of the ultraviolet light they have a little spray it's it's a you know organic spray it's just created from some some plant um, that is resilient to it that is manufactured in another little place it's just a robot comes up feeds a little tube to it and it just sprays so you don't have to spray the whole food you're using micro amounts same thing with uh, with fertilizer they have a little pocket of fertilizer and they can tell by the by the color of the leaves if they're at the right thing and it just puts a, a, a micro amount of a fertilizer that comes from you know from the uh, the jellyfish that have been dried desalinated and you know processed through it so this is an ag day a physical thing it's not in a, not in some freaking metaverse right but if you want to join the metaverse because I started off talking about the days of the metaverse if you hold the token of that of that ag day then you can walk into the Ag Park, you know, the Ag Day Park, right? Or the Ag Day corporate offices, sit around, have meetings, meet with folks, you know, different farmers, talk about what's going on, uh, developing new, um, you know, new um, uh, projects and stuff, right? And for the real world, collect collaboratively in the metaverse. And um, actually, which way I wanna go, this way? Well, we probably wanna go that way, don't we, Mikey? Hmm, I just went the wrong way. Oh well, I'll go that way and come back around. So, um, you know, as long as you're holding the token, and here's what's different too, like in, in days, one thing that's different from a DAO, right? In days, it isn't, it's, it's based on one person, one vote. So there's proof of, uh, there's a proof of verification that you are human, um, via the biometric scanner or something, right? That is, that proves, you know, that, that basically tells your token that it that has this human gene in it. So those that KYC, you don't know who the person is, but there's proof. So the enter the the, um, the uh, avatar entering actually has a proof of proof of human, proof of non AI token, so they can enter. Because you're not going to be able to tell me now, talking to you now, whether I am uh, an avatar talking to you. It will have my mannerisms, have my voice. It will have all my videos. Think of all my videos that it has. AI can just be me now, probably. As um, you know, it could take all of my reactions and everything else, and based on the responses, it has you know thousands of hours of me responding to people, and you will know. Now, if you have um, if you have uh, the um, um, if you're a friend of mine, right? You'll have a special token. That special token will have me as red when I'm an avatar. So you look at it and says, go get fucking Undow Do. I don't want to talk to you, robot. Get him. You know, I want to talk to Undow Do. And, uh, you know, um, and then I would be notified, hey, whoa, what's going on here? Look at that, Mikey. I can't even see. What is going on there? 
a lot of steam coming out of there. They're working on something. Um, that's really dangerous. They're just really making the road. They can't see, right? Up and in there. So, um, um, So what's really cool about the day is it's it, it's simple for it to be applied to any business, whether it's a grocery store, whether it's a co-op or anything, because it doesn't change anything. It's not asking for your customers to come in and all of a sudden have voting rights or anything else on on, on in the organization. There is no there is no management. All it is is paying out a dividend reward structure to it, and over time, okay, if the creators of the day wishes they can layer on those protocols, um, governance protocols and everything else. You don't have to start the DAO off, or the day The day becomes a DAO, is a DAO, off that way, but the creators can choose to move the DAO that way. And it gives a lot of flexibility to organizations or individuals, whether it's a family family trust, um, you know, um, or, you know, or a small business to launch as a day um, on it. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm hoping that folks will start, uh, you know, uh, thinking about the protocols for riding a day, um, joining the, uh, you know, uh, foundups.org. That's our community reaching out to me. Uh, love to have you involved. Um, I'll probably have a link to the, to our org. So foundups.org is our, is our community and, uh, yeah. Um, if you go to um, nftdays.com, that's the that's my shitty white paper. I'm looking for people to help rewrite it to make it more, you know, more of what a white paper should look like. I'm just a dyslexic, mangling fool who, uh, huh? Now we're going over here. Um, and then um, if you go deck dot nftdays.com you get the uh, presentation on it so uh, I hope you'll take a look at it and uh, share this video with others like it be part of it capitalism as we know it is over it really is capitalism is walking dead capitalism is or when I say capitalism I'm referring to crony cronyism capitalism right the wealth and power cycle of, of capitalism that said uh, Norm Chomsky talked about and um What's this burger market? Wow. Should we go to the burger market, Mikey? I think we should go check out burger. Huh? Burger market! <laughs> burger market! Ah! What a burger! They want to go check it out, Mikey? We should go look. You want to go just look? Look. We look. All right. There you go. There you go. You got money? Maybe I'll chip in a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's park right here. I was safe. Anyway, okay, buddy, you go. You go look. I'll be right there. I'm gonna stay for a moment. You go. I'll be right there. So, um, uh, and imagine that these days, and the, the image of the big clout image, right? The big clout image is days, right? That's the perfect image. The stack days. Um, and that the days of, uh, are a distributive entity. So the days are linked together, creating collectively, you know, you can't get the Bitcoin. I mean, the cool thing is, is that I, I used to think of a Bitcoin global reserve fund and all the Bitcoin moving into the fund. It's kind of like this big vault, but now what it is, it's all these thousands of days holding sequestering Bitcoin and um under the based on their protocols of their creators how they how they're doing it they may have some which are re, re, returned out right the days i'm launching don't return any 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 bitcoin um and just sequesters it uh driving up the cost of bitcoin and it just it doesn't care about the cost of bitcoin it's just going to constantly just turn it into satoshis right A little gobbling up gobbling up gobbling up gobbling up so these days, also 20% is there, um, which will be used for launching more days out of the entities. And basically just by your liking, your following, your joining, you're putting 
funds into that day, right? into that idea. So it's autonomous. There is no, hey, what do you think, guys? What do you think, guys? Your like, your follow, your involvement is what you think. You know, so the idea of going to, you know, this is always, always hated about DAOs. It's like, you got to go and kind of pitch to someone. There's their gatekeepers. Whether I have a gatekeeper, right, from someone, a few people, or I have all the community gatekeepers, right? I have an idea. If you like my idea, it's such passively fund. And that's in that whole, if you watch my work where I talk about passive funding, um, that's, you know, your bit clout going up in value. Uh, this passive funding, I mean, this is again from a from an image from 2011 that I shared with the founders of Ethereum. So um, if I if someone joins my team or becomes an advisor, these are all passively, you know, this is all, you know, um, validation. So success equals validated idea. I don't need your I don't need to have you go vote for money putting into the money automatically is distributed into it just by people interacting with it. And imagine this too. imagine that you're actually in a way when you're putting money into it, you're actually getting an NFT of that project. So just imagine what it would mean if you had the NFT of Google in 2000 or the NFT of Apple when it launched, or the NFT of, you know, of, um, you know, of um, Nikola Tesla, if you could, right? Or Elon Musk back when he was in high school, that you could buy the NFT of people, of ideas, and you can hold them, and by putting in, you know, you're, you're validating. So all of these things that come out are these NFTs. And these NFTs over time, it's like, yeah, I've got Elon Musk NFT from the time he was 17. You're like, holy fucking shit. What did you see? So, you know, that's the reality in NFT days. Now you're starting to see the picture. NFT days, launching Foundups. Foundups are self-organized, decentralized, open startups uh, that, uh, you know, that evolve into these days. And what I realized back in 2011, if you disrupt the startup, if you change the mechanism of startup, you change everything, you end you end capitalism because capitalism is built on these selfish startups that become these self entities that become this wealth and power cycle that uh, corrupt our politics and our politicians and everything else. And the moment you, you transform the startup from a selfish to a selfless thing, everything changes. No. from the heartland zen i'm on dow do sending you the the do <laughs>